Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, I would like to say thank you for getting me to 50 subscribers and to celebrate that, I'm going to make a new What If series. What if Goku was born with Goku? Anyway, let's get started. We start off with Goku on Planet Vegeta, being born with an abnormally high power level of let's say 750 because in Dragon Ball, God Key is known to significantly increase a person's power level, but every now and then, Goku's hair would turn red and his power level would be undetectable. One time when they were checking Goku's power level, Goku's hair turned red and he destroyed the incubation chamber. King Vegeta would fear Goku more than he even feared Broly and decided their best course of action is to send Goku away to a distant planet to destroy his body with his power and die. Gini and Bardock didn't like this idea, so they sent Goku away themselves, sending him to a distant planet called Earth. But when they tried to send Goku away, a Kree blast scraped the pod Goku was in, and Goku was going a slightly different direction in the Guardian of Earth's lookout. When he landed there, Kami was cautious because he knew if the child raged out, he could destroy Earth. Then Goku came out of the pod. This is where the story drastically changes. First of all, Goku would be way stronger than normal. And we still marry Chi Chi and all that stuff. He didn't canon ha happens just that he's way stronger than normal. And the reason why I don't want to cover that is because uh, Goku would just one shot everybody. So it, it wouldn't be interesting. He would also live on the lookup because soon, soon he would be chosen to take over here as the guardian of Earth. But one day, Raz would show up with Nappa this time so that they could get rid of Goku if he didn't want to work with them. But Goku would probably be able to see their true intentions because he did train with the Guardian of, of Earth after all. So he wiped them out not even using his god form that he got control over in the past few years. Vegeta would be impressed by Goku's power and would be heading to Earth. Earth. Goku would know this because Raz took his scatter off, so Goku and the Sea Fighters were able to know what's going on, what's going to happen, and started training for Vegeta's arrival. What will happen when Vegeta comes to Earth? Will Goku be able to make a compromise with Vegeta, or will he have to kill him like his Saiyan comrades? Well, you'll have to find out in the next part. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to get this video to 5 likes for the next part, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.